Queen's ECB Violation Removal To get a Queen's ECB Violation Removal, you have to prepare for the ECB hearing. The majority of those who must attend a Queen's ECB Violation Removal hearing do so without hiring a lawyer, but it is allowable to have a lawyer. You will be responsible for paying the lawyer. You can also choose to have someone else with you to help represent your case as long as they have all the necessary information. Witnesses are also allowed to come to the hearing in your behalf. You should also bring all paperwork, photos, or documents when preparing for a Queen's ECB violation removal hearing. If you have gathered the required information, compose a statement explaining why they should approve of your Queen's ECB violation removal. The ECB violation you were issued will list the violation you are accused of, as well as the date, time, and location for your hearing. At this point, you will be requested to defend your case if you want a Queen's ECB violation removal. You should be prepared to explain why this ECB violation should be removed. If for whatever reason you cannot make it to your scheduled Queen's ECB violation removal hearing, then call New York's Government Information Hotline to schedule a new one. If you are in New York City, this number is simply 311. Regardless of what you do, do not simply skip the Queen's ECB violation removal hearing as this can lead to more serious penalties including up to a $25,000 fine. Visit our website www.queensecbviolationremoval.com Call us at Queen's ECB Violation Removal 718-839-6092